All righty, welcome back into another episode of Five Minute Wager brought to you by Better and Green. I am Ethan. With me, as always, is Ben. And guys, we're not going to waste any time today. We are getting right into the plays. Three hockey plays for you three from Ben, three from me. Ben, what was the first game you were looking at for this loaded Tuesday night action of hockey? Loaded Tuesday, bring on the storm, bring on the hurricane storm, the hurricane money line. They're the better team. Right now we're looking at the betting percentage, 15% of the bets, 46% of the money. Need I say more? I don't think so. Let's go Hurricanes. Yeah, I'll say a little bit more because I am right there with you. This wasn't (laughs) going to be my first play, but yeah, I absolutely love the Hurricanes in this one. Um, Like you said, huge uh, discrepancy there with public betting uh, tickets versus the money. Um, And then I like the spot for the Canes. Canes are... uh, on their first road game since the all-star break, making their first of three uh, during this road trip here. So I always like the team on that first road game off two home wins. So they do have a little bit of momentum uh, heading on the road. Dallas, on the other hand, um, having their first home game since the all-star break. So I always think there's a little bit of a natural letdown spot there in that first game home. Yeah. Plus money on the Canes. Absolutely love it. I'm going to go next one. I've got the edge in each game, so I'm going to be pretty quick today. I got Vancouver puck line at minus 110. Number one in point differential, Vancouver versus the number 31 in point differential team. I, I just see Vancouver winning and, and winning big. It's, we've seen uh, Chicago lose big a couple times this year, uh, so I, I like Vancouver. Yeah, I love that play. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I was still debating throwing that one out there for one of mine. Since we yeah. already agreed on the Canes, I won't. But, yeah, that was probably my my fourth play of the day there on Vancouver. Um, yeah, love playing on them, love fading uh, Chicago. I'm going to look at a total here quick. I'm going to go Lightning Bruins under 6.5. Um, it's gross. I wouldn't advise watching it if you have money on the under. Uh, these two teams have already played, I think, twice this year. Both games went over. 3-7 was the last game in favor of Boston. Uh, the first game was 5-4 in favor of Tampa Bay. So uh, nine goals and ten goals total in those two games. Um, but I just don't think it continues. After the All-Star break, you really start seeing the defenses step up and um, you play more defensive hockey, more playoff-style hockey, really trying to gather as many points as possible and better your playoff posi- positioning. Uh so I just see a tough divisional game. These teams have been two of the best in the division for years. Um, I see more of a goaltender and a defensive battle in this one than the offensive that we've seen in the past two matchups. I like it, dude. I like it, and I'm going to stick with the total here. Um, a lot of sixes and six and a halfs I saw on the board, but I did find a five and a half out there. So we're going to go over the five and a half, and that's in the avalanche washington game actually you can get the over five and a half at minus 140 so not even too super juiced up abs second in the league in scoring against a washington team that's really struggled this year so just getting to six goals i mean we could easily see this beat five two five three even so i like the abs on the puck line also give me the over man over five and a half the abs might do it themselves they might do it themselves. You're fine. They might. I could see this being like a 3-0 game at the end of the first. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and then yeah. just the route. Yeah, I like that. Um, What was my last play? Yeah, my final play here, going back to a, a side. I'm going to take the LA Kings on the money line. Little juicy, minus 145. Um, the same thing here. I like the spot for them. First game of a four-game road trip. Um. They only have played one game since the All-Star break. It was a 4-0 win at home against the Oilers. Um, just think that's a huge like monkey off the bat game for them. Oilers, obviously, a good team. They had an incredible streak that we talked on last week. Um, and the Kings were on quite the opposite. They had a completely horrible January. They only won three games um, after playing really well up until that point. Um, I actually put a future on the Kings to win the Cup right before they started that massive collapse. So that was fun. <laughs> Um, But I think they're back. I think they're back. I think that was a huge win post all-star break. I think they're turning the ship around. Uh, No better time to get um, another win than your first of a four game road trip. And then um, on the flip side, the Sabres are 0-2 in their first two games back. They've scored one goal in each game. So offense is not going for them right now. Um, 
So I think if the Kings can put up three, four goals, it's going to be too many for the Sabres in this game. I love it. I love it. I can absolutely see it. Other than that, it's a loaded card. Loaded uh, hockey card for tomorrow. We have, Very good. I don't even know, 10, 11, 12 games, somewhere in there. Um, but yeah, that's, that is rapid fire NHL picks <laughs> right there. Uh, only five since we agreed on the on the Hurricanes, but double units. I love those plays. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that is probably that's probably my favorite play of the day. Yeah, um, I love it. I don't know about you. Okay, yeah, yeah. So if you're betting any of these, probably go Hurricanes. That's yeah. the consensus here. But that's how you rapid fire through a couple of picks. Uh, give the people what they want. We kept it quick <laughs> for them. Um, ben, thanks for hopping on, um, guys. We might be dropping down to one day a week here. We're going to see how it goes. Yeah. Um, but with football over, you know, that's our, our kind of time of the year. And uh, Ben has a newborn baby that uh, needs to spend some time with. He's got some other life things going on with work and uh, the house and uh, spend time with the wife, all sorts of family <laughs> stuff. And It's crazy, man. It, I tell you. It's stuff that you don't think about as you know, when you're in high school and you're a young man, you think about it like, oh, I'm gonna get a job and stuff. Man, there's so much more to life than just working. It's crazy. Right. And for those of you that see us on shows for five minutes, a lot more goes into the production <laughs> of the show, especially from this man's uh, angle here. He does way more than uh, what I do on the back end and more than Wyatt. Wyatt does a lot on the back end too, but um, yeah, so. Got to give this guy a break when it's not football season. Thank um, you, man. So check out, head over to bettergreen.com. We'll have some articles coming out. If we do lack in some of the video content, um, I know Ben will be writing articles still. Oh, yeah. I'll have some articles. Wyatt's been banging away on the college basketball articles. Noel has an NBA ar- article coming out yeah. um, once a week. And actually, Aaron uh, – wants to get involved with some soccer articles coming up here so welcome Aaron. um yeah so aaron's gonna get involved for all those soccer fans out there um be sure to check those out uh guys head over to sharps download the app use our code bet 269 that's bet with two t's b-e-t-t 269 um it's a great app we've been loving it just come join the sharps family interact with us we'll interact with you interact with other betters follow their bets post yours really great atmosphere over there um and yeah, other than that, guys, just keep an eye out for our other videos, uh, more five minute wager, getting technical and um, tapping Vegas, which has been seriously printing money. If you're watching any of our shows, I don't even care if you like the UFC, <laughs> head over to tapping Vegas. Don't miss it. Click that bell so you don't miss an episode. Uh, you guys haven't lost a single episode yet, have you? No, I think we're up. almost. We're almost to 50 units now since we started. We're at 10 so, on the year. Uh, one more do you want? I mean, and there's when did that start? Like October? Yeah, October, November. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> you shouldn't even be watching this show. <laughs> Go over to Tapping Vegas, check that out. Um, lock in the bets that they tell you to lock in, and you don't even have to watch the fights. Just wake up Sunday a happy, happy man. Yes. Other than that, Ben, thanks for joining me again. Thank um, you, man. Congratulations to you and your Chiefs. I Thank know it's you. a hockey show, but I see you got the Chiefs on. Yep. Congrats on your Super Bowl. Thank um, you. And enjoy not only the NFL offseason, but your offseason. Uh, you've you've definitely earned it. You deserve it. Thank you, man. Thank you. I just – I'm cashing in my Michigan State uh, college basketball championship now just because it feels like that has to happen. It has to. Michigan, Chiefs, Michigan State. If it doesn't happen in basketball, I hear their hockey team is pretty good. I don't keep up with it, but I hear they're decent. So maybe (laughs) maybe I'll celebrate something. Let's go, man. All right, guys. Well, thanks, as always, for tuning in. And until next time, uh, enjoy the games and good luck with your bets. We'll see you. Peace, guys. better start listening to the better and green podcast you will not regret it trust me trust me trust me and hey i'm dean blandino welcome 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 to better and green hey to better and green hey to better and green hey listen in and cash out that's what it's all about come on let's make cash now we always on spot and we cover all spot from the bottom to the top hey 
Shout out to Ethan, shout out to Ryan, shout out to Ben. Welcome, welcome to our podcast. Better win green.